Now that we are familiar with the component parts of the system, let's see how they connect, what to inspect, and how to adjust them for operation. Beginning with the pump, make a visual inspection of the electrical cords, the remote control, the hydraulic hoses and connectors, gauges, and the general condition of the pump looking for any damage or irregularities. Check the level and the condition of the oil in the reservoir. Remember, clear and amber colored and do not overfill. Ensuring that your glasses and gloves are in place, connect the pump to its power supply. With the couplers pointing away from any persons, turn on the motor using the remote control. Look and listen for anything out of the ordinary. Press the remote control switch or button, pressurizing the pump, and cycle it a few times, noting the pressure quickly registering on the gauge. Each time you release the button, the gauge will read about 1,000 PSI, indicating the return pressure. This is controlled by an internal limit valve, which you cannot change. Hold the control button down for about 15 seconds. The pressure on the gauge should hold steady as long as you hold the button down. If the needle bounces or the pressure bleeds off, there may be internal problems which require service. At this point, shut the pump off and check for leaks. Connect one or more sets of hoses to the pump. Since the couplers are all connected to the same oil supply, it makes no difference which pair you choose. Insert the hose end into the mating coupler, ensuring that it is completely seated with no gap. Hand tighten the threaded collar until it is fully engaged. Do not use pliers on the couplers or you will bend them and make it necessary to use tools on them the next time. Finger tight is enough. Now connect any remaining couplers to the pump and follow the same procedure to attach the hoses to the wrench on the other end. With the wrench in a stable place, not attached to a bolt, press and release the remote actuator button several times and observe the hoses stiffen and the wrench ratchet. If the hoses stiffen and the pump pressurizes but the wrench does not ratchet, check the couplers. One has loosened or was not fully engaged. Hold the button down for about 10 seconds and again make sure that the gauge comes up to pressure and holds steady and that there are no leaks in the system. You are now ready to go to work.